Thank you so much. Thank you. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, our Chief Host, the Chief of Staff, I mean the Chief of Army Staff, my apologies, Lieutenant General Bagbaja, the esteemed holder of the Nigerian Army Medal, among several other honors, decorations, and awards. The Honorable Speaker of Akwaibom State House of Assembly, ably represented by the Chairman, House Committee on Youth, Sports, and Security, the representative of the Chief Judge, the representative of the SSG, the head of the civil service, the honorable commissioners that are here, the chairman of the traditional rulers council of our state, all uh, chiefs, all other chiefs of the Nigerian army that have joined us for this conference, senior military officers serving, senior military officers retired, especially those from Aquaibum extraction that have joined us for this opening ceremony. All other service commanders from sister agency, the commissioner of police, Aquaibum command, and um, all others that have joined us here. Our revered vice chancellors, the head of tertiary institutions, captains of industries, senior officers, commanding officers, both serving and retired, conference participants, invited guests, members of the fourth estate of the REM, ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored to be here with you today for the opening ceremony of this combined second and third quarter Chief of Army Staff Conference 2024. I have noted with keen interest the important role that the regular conferences undertaken by the Nigerian Army play in appraising, training, and operational activities with a view to learning lessons for future undertakings. Let me also thank the Nigerian Army for the way this conference was opened by, with a safety briefing. That has become something I identified when I took over government, that we lack safety briefings, we lack safety procedures in the way government business is done. And so we had to establish by law the asset management agency, which also com has uh, safety, health, and environmental management as part of its core values. The safety briefing today underscores the fact that the Nigerian Army is equipped well up to date and are aware of the current uh, tradition all over the world in keeping conferences such as this. And I want to thank the Chief of Army Staff for this lofty innovation that has been built into the Nigerian Army. I recall with admiration that a similar military activity was hosted in this state about a decade ago. And I'm delighted that the Nigerian Army is back in Akwaibom State, the land of promise. I make bold to say that the establishment of the headquarters of the second two brigade in the state has contributed in no small measure to the relative peace experienced in the state. It has also contributed to creating a good working and harmonious relationship between you and our administration, alongside other sister security agencies in maintaining the peace we enjoy in Aquaibom. This, I believe, among others, informed your decision to choose Aquaibom State 
to host this auspicious event as a further pointer to the good relationship between Akwaibom and the Nigerian army. And I am therefore elated to be with you today to appreciate your continual efforts in addressing the current security challenges bedeviling our dear nation. It goes without saying that security is a key requirement for national development. And history has shown that one institution that plays and continues to play a key role in achieving the much needed security is the Nigerian army. It also remains a veritable tool for projecting the country's national power. Since my assumption of office, I've been particularly impressed with the progressive restructuring of the Nigerian army. I watched with great delight and pride the maiden flights of the army aviation during the just concluded Army Day celebrations in Jos, and came to the conclusion that the Nigerian army is constantly innovating and deepening its competence and professionalism as required of a modern army. I must therefore commend the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T. Lagbaja, for the purposeful direction he has given to the Nigerian army towards meeting its constitutional responsibility. We feel very proud of you, particularly given the fact that you were with us at some point in your illustrious career as the commander of the headquarters of the 2 Brigade, Uyo. This, to us, we believe is like a homecoming for you. One of the key components of our governance blueprint, the Arise Agenda, is security. As a matter of fact, the S in the Arise Agenda stands for security management. To show our commitment to maintaining security, part of the first act I performed shortly after my inauguration was to set up a full-fledged Ministry of Internal Security and Waterways, headed by one of your own, retired General Koko Essien. He has done exceedingly well and has shown competence in the discharge of his duty as someone who came from your stock. We also went ahead to create Ibom Community Watch, a community-based informal security architecture that serves to complement the activities of the security agencies with intelligence and physical presence, especially based upon their deep knowledge of their localities. It was part of our strategy to also take off some of our youths from the streets and to ensure that they have a well-paid employment and they can set to organize their lives. It is germane to note that for development to thrive, there must be security of lives and property. Therefore, as the army of our great nation, your role in securing the nation is paramount, and the government is to do all that is possible to ensure that the army is well equipped. That is why we created the Joint Maritime Operations Task Force and procured and deployed 14 patrol gunboats in response to the literal nature of our state and the threat posed by sea pirates, militants, and kidnappers within our waterways. We have also donated Hilux trucks to assist the security agencies in real-time response to combating crimes. I want to urge you to continue to remain apolitical and operate within the framework of the principles of fundamental human rights that you have come to be known for. The various operations being conducted in Akwaibom and other parts of Nigeria no doubt require a high degree of training and expertise. It is therefore heartwarming that training is being tailored towards emerging threats and necessary equipment is procured in line with this. Equally important 
is the attention given to joint training in multi-agency cooperation and collaboration. This will no doubt boast the level of synergy and cooperation among the various security agencies in the quest to defeat criminal elements within the shortest possible time. My administration will ever remain steadfast in assisting the Nigerian Army and indeed other security agencies in achieving its goal in Akwaibom State and beyond. We'll continue to support the welfare of security agencies and particularly the Nigerian Army. Recently, during this year's Armed Forces Remembrance Day, we released the sum of 100 million naira to support the widows of all our for fallen heroes. And we'll continue to do all we can <laughs> to ensure that they have a good life they deserve because their family, their husbands, their breadwinners had paid the supreme price that we will stay and remain in peace. As we deliberate during this conference, I want you to think out of the box and evolve strategies that will consolidate your efforts in tackling the myriad of security challenges being faced in the state and country as a whole. I'm particularly impressed to note that the Nigerian Army has an agricultural arm and they will contribute in no small measure in the food security of our dear nation with the understanding that food security, if not properly managed, can snowball into other security challenges. As a state, we have the A part of our rice agenda is agriculture, and we're doing the, all we can to ensure that we move our people back to the farm, we distribute improved variety of seedlings, and recently we also, through a bill uh, passed by the House of Assembly, had created the Aquaibom State Bulk Purchase um, Agency that will help distribute food and palliatives to our people. Recently, we procured 240 ton um, containerized trucks to help distribute food to our local government. We have continued and will continue to support our populace. And to deepen food security, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be setting up a food security and safety committee that will be headed by professionals in the agricultural sector to be able to interact directly with our farmers and ensure that we get our people back to the farm, form cooperatives, and begin to enjoy the full food value chain that we require. We are determined as a people in Akwaibom State, blessed by God, good arable land, good weather all year round, to be able to provide food that we will be able to feed our people. I want, I'm positive that your leadership has provided purposeful direction in establishing a foundation for the Nigerian army. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, on this note, it is my singular honor and privilege to formally declare open the Chief of Army Staff's combined second and third quarter conference for the year 2024 held here at the Council of Chiefs Conference Hall in Akwaibom State. I thank you all and God bless you. Thank you so very much, special guest of honor, for these uh, wonderful remarks. You may please be seated.